Today I'll be showing you how to install Windows 10 on any Intel based Mac. What you're going to need is a USB flash drive that has 16 gigabytes or larger and your Intel based Mac. It is also preferred to have a wired mouse and a wired keyboard so that you don't run into any Bluetooth issues uh, during the Windows 10 install process. And you could also use an ethernet cable, although it is not required. So this is a very simple tutorial. All you're gonna wanna do is go into Safari and you're gonna go to this website, which will be listed in the, in the description below. And it'll take you to Microsoft's page to download Windows 10, the .iso file. Scroll down until you see select edition, select Windows 10, click confirm, and then select your language, click confirm, and then it'll take you to a page that will allow you to download the 32-bit or 64-bit. Most likely you're gonna wanna go with the 64-bit download. So go ahead and download the 64-bit and save it to your desktop. After that, you can close out of your browser and I have already downloaded it to my desktop. You're gonna wanna open up Disk Utility, plug in your USB flash drive and we're gonna have to format it. So if you have anything on your flash drive, be sure to save that somewhere safe and then um, come back to this and then we'll format the drive. So once disk utility is open, you're gonna wanna go to your view here and then show all devices. At the very top of your external drive, you wanna click on that and then click erase and then you can title it windows or whatever you want it's going to be renamed anyway but i just did windows make sure it's mac os extended journaled so that the boot camp assistant can recognize the usb flash drive the scheme should be guid partition map and then click erase i've already done that to save some time and then you're going to want to open up finder and ensure that nothing is in the drive you can close that out and then go ahead and open up Boot Camp Assistant. Click on Continue. And you wanna make sure all three of these are checked. Having this third one checked, you can have it uh, unchecked if you want. What this would do is just, once the drive is partitioned and erased by Boot Camp Assistant, it's just gonna automatically install Windows 10. So I would recommend keeping that checked. Click continue and then select your USB flash drive and select the ISO image file that you downloaded to your desktop if not already selected. So mine auto selected. If it didn't, just click on the choose and select the Windows 10 ISO file. After that, click on continue, continue again, and then it will go ahead and format the selected drive and it will begin installing the Windows 10 ISO file to your USB flash drive. This might take some time, depending on the speed of your Mac and the speed of your USB flash drive. If you do have USB 3.0 with a USB 3.0 supported Mac, it will go faster, but it will take some time regardless. So I'll go ahead and forward this. Once the files are done copying over to the USB, you're gonna be brought to this screen. If for some reason Boot Camp quits or you're not brought to the screen, reopen Boot Camp Assistant and uncheck the first two boxes and make sure that the last box is checked and then you should be brought to the screen after clicking continue. Now, this part, you're gonna wanna create a partition for Windows and you wanna do this carefully because Whatever it partitions it to, you cannot extend or shrink this partition as it will definitely cause errors in booting Mac OS um, if you're going from Windows to Mac OS boot-wise. Uh, so what I, rec what I would do is divide equally, but you can go all the way until however much it allows. Uh, you can shrink it right now until whatever you want. I'm going to just divide it equally, but do make sure that you cannot change the partition once it is changed in boot camp right now. 
So go ahead and click install after uh, you decide. Enter your password in. After the disk is done partitioning, your Mac will restart multiple times in Windows and you will see the screen that the setup is starting. Um, your Windows logo will appear to be frozen, but it's not. You just want to just let it do its thing and be patient. And then ultimately you should be brought to the screen. Prior to the screen, you may have to enter your max password uh, just before it restarts and everything should be good to go. So once you are brought to this screen, you're just going to want to make sure you select whatever you need here and then click next. And it's recommended to have a license key, although you don't need a license key. But if you don't have a license key, then you won't be able to customize to your liking. So that's uh, something to note. I'm just going to say I don't have a product key right now. Uh, you can always enter your product key later on. Select the Windows version that you want to install. Now, if you have a license key for Windows 10 Home, it will only work with Home and it will not work with anything else. So I'm just going to install Windows 10 Home. Click Next. Ex accept the license terms. Next and you'll be brought to the screen. So whatever drive partition says boot camp is the one you're going to want to select. Do not format it. Do not delete anything. Do not rename it. Leave all as is. Click next. And then all this, uh, it'll, it'll go through. It will take some time, so be patient um, and just wait for this to get ready. Your Mac will restart a couple times and then you should be brought to the screen. So go ahead and go through the setup here. It should be quick and we're gonna get into the Windows desktop. So when you come to the screen, let's connect you to a network. It's not going to show any networks because the drivers haven't been installed yet. So just go ahead and click, I don't have a network. And I'm just going to click on continue with limited setup. And then you can name it whatever you want. So I'm just going to name it test, but uh, you can name it whatever you want. And I'm not going to have a password on that right now. And I suggest turning all of this stuff off. You can go ahead and read it, but it's all privacy stuff. And uh, click on not now for Cortana. You, you can have that on if you wish, but I'll turn that off. And then it'll go through the getting everything ready for you set up. So this might take some time. Your Mac shouldn't restart uh, during this process. It should take you directly to the desktop and I'll be back once that happens. So once the desktop loads up, you should see this boot camp installer. Just click on next, accept the terms, install, and then it will install the boot camp assistant on your windows. This will take some time, so just be patient. Once the boot camp installer has completed, just click on finish. And then you want to restart your computer. Once your Mac restarts, you should be able to connect to the Wi-Fi. And now what you're going to want to do is search for Apple software update and open that up. And it'll check for new software uh, to be downloaded. So at this point, all your drivers should be installed by boot camp. Um, and your mouse and everything should be working. So once it loads up, you're going to want to download these. So make sure they're all checked and install all three. And then click yes. And then it will download and install these updates. 
and then you're going to want to restart your Mac. I'm going to click no for right now, only because the third thing you're going to need to do after restarting, just to save some time, is go into settings. And then you're going to go into Windows Update. So Update and Security. And if you wanted to activate your license, you would just click down here and activate your license. You're going to need to manually click on Check for Updates. And then it will show a whole list of updates that need to be installed for Windows to run correctly. If you want to go back into Mac OS, you're going to need to hold down the Alt or Option key on your keyboard uh, while booting up your Mac. So you would shut down the Windows, shut down your Mac completely, and then hold on the Option or Alt key on your keyboard, and then press the power button to boot up the Start menu. And then from there, you can select your Mac OS or Windows partition. At this point, you don't need your USB drive anymore. You can unplug that and format it or whatever you want. I suggest leaving it as a Windows bootable drive, but that would only work on Macs and not on a native Windows PC. So as you can see, there's a whole list of updates available. Wait for all those to install, reboot your computer, and Windows should be all set up and ready to go. So if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them in the comment section below. All the links you will need will be in the description below. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.